much surprised to see me before the video started. Before we actually start this fine, fine episode of Sonic Adventure Part Episode 5, wherever we're at, I need to tell you about two blunders I made first. Uh, blunder number one, somehow I forgot to actually capture the game's audio for the next four episodes worth of Sonic Adventure, so I kind of just re-recorded it, left the old video, but then took the audio of the new video, and then tried to put it in myself. So things clearly will not line up, but at least there'll be music. And I at least lined up the character dialogue uh, to the greatest of my ability. So it's, it's there, but I mean, you're here for mine and Everett's commentary anyway, so you don't even need to worry about that part. The other blunder, which is a bit more of a baffling thing to fix, is, uh... Let me just go ahead and show you what I did. That spinning circle I just put on my face, you can see it there if you look closely. Uh, that's going to be there for the next four videos worth of content, and I can't remove it. So that's just kind of there now. So just think of it as uh, that friend that's well overstaying their welcome after you just worked a 50-hour work week and you just want one day of doing nothing, but they just aren't getting the hint. Yeah, it's just going to be there. Uh, why is it there? You, you might be asking, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, rooster me boy, how do you, how do you make that happen? That's, that's weird, that's never happened before. To which I say, I, I don't want to answer that. So, you know, here's Sonic Part 5. Oh, cool, I forgot to give you these recaps. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. There was this huge mural drawn on the wall deep inside the ruins. It depicted a monster on a rampage destroying a town, and before I realized it, I was in a totally different place, surrounded by fire. What is this place? Knuckles, help! <laughs> so, was Sonic the first person to find these hieroglyphs? Uh, in a while, I completely forgot it did those what? recaps, so you just read what happened. I don't remember it being pulsing red. It's on fire, man. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm I glad that recap it. happened. I was going to start this episode recapping what happened, but Sonic took care of it. Everett, everything's on fire. I oh my god. Help. They Help us. Oh, wait. Ran too far. Uh-oh. What'd you... They're dead. Oh, god. Oh. Not, <laughs> not steel. Not not cold steel the hedgehog. <laughs> not the cool one. Not the... Not the I can't all remember what they're called. Dead chows. The chows. No. The chows, man. They're all dead. Are they like actually dead? All dead? those, all those chows are dead, man. I wasn't expecting. That's this. dead chows. Why? <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> Cat lady say the same thing when their house is on fire and their cats are everywhere. Exactly. And they all die. Why? <laughs> Go back in That's there and say. Terrible. Them. How is she gonna Go stop this? Is that not Amy? No. That's some lady echidna. Was she introduced beforehand? No. This oh. is our literal first time seeing her. <laughs> okay. Honestly, cool. it's kind of weird now that I'm realizing it, but I guess minor spoiler, every character has a section where, like, they see, what was that all about? like, from, like, see her and meet her. And I'm realizing it's actually really weird, because Sonic's, like, if we go on Kron uh, like, in order of how everyone's story connects... Right. Sonic's the last one to see her. I am only now putting that together. Wow. And he has, like, no interactions with her. And it's... <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is fine. His only interaction with her was, Why? <laughs> Everyone with else, like... With a bunch of like, dead chows around. <laughs> with a whole bunch of dead chows everywhere. Chows and stuff. Oh, Eggman's base was over here all along. Oh, Look at that man. Eggman's base. I assume we're going back over there. We're heading into the Eggman land. Oh, this might be the... We, we, we might... We won't might. We're going to finish the Sonic chapter <gasps> this episode, probably. That's good. Unless Maybe. this level is longer than I remember. That means we could crank oh. down. There's some uh, cameos in here. <gasps> yeah. Is that not not Metal Sonic? I, I think <laughs> that's supposed to be the silver one from Sonic 2. Yeah. Um, Where, where's my boy at? Here we there go. Is. There's your boy, it's Metal him. Sonic. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and I was handsome boy. Yeah, glory. and then there's like, uh, is there a third one or am I remembering wrong? I guess there's, it's weird that around. there isn't a third one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's that's it. For, well, hey, I'm happy but hey, for that's a cool Sonic cameo, right? Metal Sonic. I'm so good. yeah, we were supposed to, let me give you guys a quick up uh, announcement. Um, or not, not really announcement, just update or 
explanation on things that happened. Everett and I were supposed to have episodes of this earlier, uh, like last week, but uh, uh, some stuff came up and we weren't able to meet up. Meet up. But I haven't told this part to Everett yet. That actually ended up being a good thing that we couldn't do it uh, it last week. Father's Day weekend. (laughs) No, 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 no. Even, even more interesting stuff happened. Um, my power was out that Tuesday. Oh, nice. So, like, I got home from work, and then around 5, my power went out. Oh, that would have been, like, so, perfect timing, too. That would have been, like, a lot of episodes. We, we, we would have just, like, lost an hour of footage if so we had d- divine met intervention. Divine intervention. Love Sonic. Love Sonic. Final leg. Go to the center of the base. I don't trust Woo. that robot. Hey, man. He doesn't ah. seem like a cool dude. He was gonna tackle me. He he wasn't. He wasn't a cool dude. See, I think Oop. if Eggman put more time and effort into his outside defenses, he wouldn't need all this inside, inside defenses. <laughs> yeah, Eggman, I kind of just walked in. Yeah, there was a giant tube leading straight to where you wanted me to go. Like, it's kind of like you invited me here. Well, you see, Eggman, I, I had a sale on spiky balls, <laughs> and uh, I just, I had to use them up. Well, Eggman, I'm faster than they can ever move. <laughs> so what makes you think that that's going to stop me? So You don't understand, Sonic. That sale was a really good deal. Sonic? It would have been stupid of me not to have these spiky balls everywhere and put in outside forces. I would have lost money. Is it? Has it ever occurred to you that... I want more than just your company. (laughs) Uh, What? Sonic, I have feelings for you. Sonic. What? When you turn 18, let me know. Uh, Let me know when two years of our rivalry have gone past. I know it's been like 30 already. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, you gotta understand, I'm a big fan of the enemies to lovers trope. So I've been trying to set that up for you, with you, but you were too young. Sonic. Eggman, I don't think I like where this is going. I'm just a man. I'm a lonely man. I'm a lonely man, Sonic. My ex-wife doesn't talk to me. My kids resent me. Eggman, you you have a ex-wife and kids? Uh, pass that. You're the only one that gives uh, me uh, proper uh, attention. <laughs> we're not we're not really focusing on that right now. You're the only one that puts this much time and effort into me, and mm. I feel appreciated. <laughs> I, uh, no one's ever made me feel appreciated more than you, my rival. Okay, Eggman, I'm gonna uh, kick you in the head. Hey, Eggman, <laughs> I'm gonna kick you back in the head and hope that you go back to how I thought you were. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep <laughs> kicking you while you're down. Oh, Sonic, how I treasure these moments. <laughs> <laughs> no one makes me feel more comfortable in my own skin than you, Sonic. Eggman, I don't know what that means. You even gave me a cute pet name, Sonic. Eggman. Uh, it's a term of endearment, is it not? I, no! You're horribly obese with extremely long legs. What's going on, man? He's like, oh, Sonic, you notice the things that I want you to. Surprisingly athletic. <laughs> you run like faster Eggman, than I am. Why are you good enough to be an Olympic-level athlete? <laughs> like... Is that machines doing that for you, or are you just actually that athletic? It's for your... I'm trying to impress you, Sonic. Like... Were those moles? I think they were penguins. Eggman, I think we're not, like, exaggerating enough how impressive it is that you're an Olympic-level athlete. You competed in javelin throws against Donkey Kong. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Donkey Kong (laughs) punched the moon out of the sky once. Oh, shit. So did an earthquake in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I missed. <laughs> when did this game come? Um, 98? I think. Uh, in 14 years, Sonic. My bad. Yeah, 14 years. There's going to be a horrible tragedy. <laughs> and I was there, Sonic. I was there, Sonic. At least I think it was 2011. When that earthquake hit Japan. It was 2011. Uh, was it 2011? Yes. <laughs> Dang. Man, 2011 had a lot of horrible stuff go down. Had that earthquake in Japan that caused a tsunami that caused a bunch of nuclear reactors to go into, like, critical overdrive. And uh, we later discovered that... 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Yes, it was. As we later discovered, that earthquake was uh, uh, so powerful that it actually changed the Earth's access a little bit. <laughs> it knocked like point zero 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 five seconds off of a 24-hour day or something. Yep, and it's only getting worse. <laughs> we are officially at one second behind. Something... Weird. Okay, there we go. A camera just didn't follow me for a second. Okay. I don't remember how this level went in the ports. Um, but the camera seems to have some trouble following me in certain parts. How Wait, is yeah. Sonic not a super genius? Uh, he has what the do you processing. Mean he has like, he can process how fast he's going. Yeah. Um, so shouldn't brain speed equivalent to him being able to problem solve? Like not necessarily smarter, but yeah, he can I, I, I think he, a lot I think faster. he does have that ability. Um, they just don't exaggerate it uh, a whole lot. Like not in the games, at least. Woo! Oh, jeez! Wow, that is unforgiving. Man, this double part, okay, unforgiving. double unforgiving. I feel like that hammer was synced on a different time I think uh, so. before. Is it like an RNG it. thing? That's like an RNG thing. Oh no, that's God. a perspective problem. That's that's a oh. me. That's a me having problems old, with perspective. Old my cameras. old man eyes. That's all right. Mine are. You know, bad. like I used to uh, question, like when I heard, you know, most uh, professional esports players they retire at like 25. And I was like, why? And it was like, well, uh, uh, reaction time goes down. Uh, you lose some death perception around that age. And I was like, oh, you're just making that up. And now have. I'm 30, and, like, games I used to be really good at, <laughs> like, platformers and things, I have serious problems with, with depth perception. And I'm like, okay, you know what, maybe they were onto something. I, I have so much things that, like, I'm like, I actually think I am getting worse at video games <laughs> as I get older. They do also make the dumbest amount of money ever. Mm. Yeah, like, I used to think, like, uh they were exaggerating when they said that um god where was i trying what was i trying to say at this is that old man or, or, or like you know that people who are older were just like making excuses right it's like well i when i was young i was better at this and i was like ah it just sounds like you're not getting good but now it's kind of like nope turns out i was wrong uh yeah, you just... as i am now an old man i definitely feel i was better at this as a youngster that's all right Stefan. as a a young man. When I was a young man, Everett. That's all right. I you was were my age. <laughs> yeah. And I used to. I, I think a part of it was that I also used to think it's like, nah. When I was young, I just had more time to learn how to play games. No. But like, and but then like when I play games that I was good at and that I should know, it's like, okay, never mind. It's not just new games I'm bad at. It's games I used to be good at that I'm bad at. What a curse to be. What a curse to be, to behold. Don't don't go don't age past twenty five, everyone. Don't get old. That's my advice. Don't don't age yourself past twenty five. Yep. Just drink a lot of vinegar. Yeah, drink a lot of vinegar and stay a youthful gamer. Yeah. It works. It, it, it works. Tickles your insides. Tickles your insides. You'll definitely know it's working when you feel funny after you yeah. drink a bottle. Yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> I've I've seen it happen before. Everett has seen it happen, and he's a trustworthy gent. It was a Jeagle story. It was a Jeagle story. Yeah, a homeless lady grabbed a gallon of white vinegar and Kept shoved the alive. whole thing in front of me. A gallon? A gallon. That's an impressive amount. A lot of it was on the floor. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But she didn't stop until the bottle was empty. How much of it do you think she swallowed? More than a person should. Without reaction. Without reacting, more than a person should. Like, I make a face when I eat salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> uh, she just sucked the whole thing down. You know how you get around it? Drink drink rice vinegar. Yeah, that, I guess. Delicious. There definitely was not... I, I refuse to believe that there were containers that gave you 40 rings in the ports, because that's... Like, I love that they're giving me that, but man, that's absurd. It seems like a lot. What are these thingies? Do they not break? Uh, no, they're just slowly blowing up. I, I think they're Eggman's, uh... 
robots that he makes to be cruel or something because they're kind of just like, help us! Help. Please, destroy us! Uh, Why did Eggman give us sentience and the ability to feel pain? We just slog <laughs> around. Hmm. Alright, computer. Now that I've finished my new robots, give them, give sentience. them sentience and the ability to feel pain. Yes. Safety protocols off. <laughs> Make them feel nothing but agony. <laughs> Do doctor, I are you sure you want this? Never question my genius. I will build you a new one. <laughs> Ooh. Sonic, you're the one thing that's keeping me going. Like, it, Sonic just needs... I think Sonic and Eggman what? just need to talk. Instead oh. of destroying... Because... You think that... He's uh, destroying a lot of tax dollars, right? Yeah, now. yeah. You, you, you think the issue is that Sonic and Eggman just need to sit down together and have an earnest conversation? I think Sonic is a terrorist. <laughs> I <laughs> think Sonic's the enemy. <laughs> and... Because there's a uh, lot of... In oh. Holy ravioli. Oh, thank goodness. I was gonna say... I was gonna say, please tell me this has a safe ending for me. I really me. hope you didn't just, like, <laughs> slip and... <laughs> I didn't clip through anything. That was that was supposed to happen. I was just confused by it because I, I I don't remember everything. That's okay. And when stuff like that happens and I don't remember it, I'm kind of like, whoa. Like, what is the purpose? One thing of this I will area? say: levels in this game a lot longer than I remember. Yeah. Like, uh, cause some of these levels go on for like ten minutes. Oh, these are uh, we'll learn these in uh, uh, the robots <laughs> chapter. But these are like the training grounds for his robots. Oh. So he has like targets of Sonic and friends set up. See, I hate Tails too, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Tails is my least favorite. No, no. Uh, uh, got him. Uh oh, this is gonna be hard. Actually, break break my shield. That'll make this easier for me. Well, Please. Please, someone get low enough to break my shield. If I jump into you, you will die. Hit me. Have mercy. There we go. Okay. So, I draw the rings to me with that shield, ah. but I need to use the light speed dash. I gotcha. Oh, dang it. He did it towards an enemy. There. <laughs> Time to do it again. Do it again. Gorilla. Gorilla. There we go. Yeah, end of the level. Yeah. Good job, Sonic. Bum, ba, dum. Smash that like button for our Lord and oh, Savior, geez. the YouTube algorithm, and hit subscribe. I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, compared to most other Sonic games from this point forward, um, and even before, mm. I'm starting to realize I think this one has the longest like levels time wise. That or I'm really? just moving through them slow because like it should not be taking me like more than three minutes honestly to get through them. Well, I w I could imagine that. <laughs> the 3D ones take longer. This cutscene seems different than I remember it. It seems cooler in this. Because of the extended shot? I think so. Like, I don't remember the cutscene for the this boss fight. This is the final boss of Sonic's Adventure. Yeah, oh. they definitely didn't have the cutscene as this, like, cool. viewable. Yeah, like, you definitely could not... I feel like you could not really see this machine. I don't see? know, maybe I'm remembering wrong. It is my pal, Sonic. Ooh, this is the Egg Viper. But it doesn't have a mustache. Ooh. Oh. This is kind of cool. This is, uh, this is our final boss of Sonic's adventure. I can only imagine that those giant green buttons on the back have anything Is to this do with a this. next part of the level? Oh, no. Just grab an onto a missile. Okay. I don't remember that cutscene. I wonder if that is in the port. Interesting. I have no recollection. This area definitely looks better in this. This area is, like, just black everywhere oh and it's God. so dark in the gamecube port but this looks a lot better this actually okay maybe dreamcast is the way to experience this game i guess so get a load of this no. Woo. Get a load of thanks eggman <laughs> get a load of this Woo. like there has the to lasers be actually look better too like there has to be some sort of, like, OSHA thing that's like, <laughs> no, I, Eggman, you can't have lasers and spikes on your flying snake. Mm, on your Egg Viper. I feel like I gotta show you the GameCube port sometime, just so that uh, you can see how <laughs> different how different it is. Was that when I was supposed to hit him? No, this is... Maybe. Huh. Uh, the spaghetti... Huh. Ah, you see, Sonic, oh. I made it specifically for you. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's just like Perry and Dr. Doofenshmirtz. We're frenemies. <laughs> I also like the music of the, uh, 
this final boss. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty schnazzy. I guess it's pretty okay. Mm -hmm. It's definitely... It's like... He's charging a cannon! Oh no! Yeah. Not Sonic being faster than light. <laughs> being yeah, Eggman, if you're gonna have a weapon that needs time to charge, you probably should just not install it, because yeah. I'm gonna move faster before you can fully charge it. Any projectile you throw at me, I can dodge it. Oh, I don't remember this part. Okay, well, I'm glad I managed to dodge that. Good. I don't remember that. <laughs> Spank his butt. <laughs> Boom, baby! Good job. I like it. Eggman's getting God. crunked. I can't wait till Sonic Adventure 2 as well. You're gonna love it, man. That's the shadow one? That's the shadow one. <gasps> I can't wait. That's where you meet Shadow. Oh, here we go. Shadow the Hedgehog. Cool Aha! shadow. Cool Sonic. Yeah, I named a video Everett admits Sonic is cool. <laughs> I know, Sonic- Oh, he destroyed the other platforms! So I was. Someone asked me at work, they were like, What's the appeal? I was like, I didn't get it either. Until I played it. <laughs> and I witnessed it. Yeah, you finally get it. It's like, Sonic legitimately is cool. Like, like I, I understand. I, <laughs> I understand all of it. Like, I get why it's such a phenomenon. Like, if I were nine years old, I would plan my entire life around Sonic if I was into it then. Alright, I gotta wait for this part I kinda hate. Oh. Why? He's gonna do like one last potential one hit kill move if I. Oh, he's up to something. Who and said that? Yeah, he destroyed like one last platform. And the first time I played this game, I of course was on the platform he destroyed and had to redo the whole fight. Stefan, <laughs> when does it tell you what that glowing orb is? Uh. Eventually. In whose campaign? Uh. Eventually. That's great. <laughs> did I have to read the manual? No, you don't have to read the manual. <laughs> Although if you did read the manual for this game, I believe it says that Eggman is a feminist. Good I don't remember Eggman. if it's Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2. Slay Eggman. We did it! We stopped Eggman! Except he kinda just flew away. But eh, I'll see you later, Eggman. I destroyed his base! Tails, you're alive! How'd you get off the egg carrier that I ditched you on? <laughs> I can fly, Sonic! Oh yeah! I hate you, Tails. You mutant. <laughs> You're gonna love this part. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> Just wait for it. It's the end credits. Where's the high five? Where's the, <laughs> when do they high five? Just wait for this. I'm pretty sure there's a part where they're gonna make it look like Sonic's the one singing this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. What else? Yeah! Was he supposed to do? What else was he supposed to do? That was him singing. That's the oh Sonic adventure. Can I skip credits or no? Well, what did you think of the Sonic portion? I'm curious to see. I feel like there's still so much story. Oh, there's still so much more to see. There's. <laughs> Who do you wanna, uh, whose story do you wanna see next? Ah, uh, I know we have ten minutes, do we wanna start the Amy one since it's the quickest? Why not? Do you wanna do the, uh, Amy and Big are roughly the same length. We could do Amy and Big. You wanna, which one do you wanna do first? I'm, picking I'm letting you pick. You I forgot the giant orca! You forgot oh my about God. the orca! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking Amy. Yeah, isn't this game amazing? This is oh, pretty This cool. is great. This is, it, <laughs> Listen. it was Sonic snowboarding down an avalanche. Despite all the jokes I myself have even made about 3D Sonic and how we've probably heard a lot that Sonic never worked in 3D, I've always kind of disagreed with that. I have fun with the 3D Sonics. Like, it, I have a lot of fun with 3D Sonic games. Like, when the camera works, like, it when seems it, great. When it works, <laughs> it works. Um, I, I really think that when I objectively look at it, all the hate on Sonic in this 3D games, like, when you look at, like, the reviews of this game in Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Heroes, even, yeah. like, Shadow the Hedgehog when they all first came out, people actually weren't saying bad things about these games on release. So who do you think? I know what ruined it already. Sonic 06. Sonic 06 legitimately caused a permanent, like, effect on Sonic as a whole. 
to where now, like, <laughs> that is... people put all Sonic games under a microscope, and if, like, other games make the same, like, mistakes with glitches that Sonic makes, people are a lot harder on Sonic uh, than other games that do it, but I, I really think Sonic 06 was the, was the, the part where people even went back to say Sonic was never good in the first place. I'm I really so excited think, for Sonic 06. I really think Sonic 06 is what, like, permanently tainted the perception of 3D Sonic games to the point where even ones people used to praise started getting, like, criticism. I'm so excited for <laughs> I it. I actually think that it was just, like, a permanent stain on Sonic that will never go away. I can't wait. Uh, I think... <laughs> So that's the thing about Sonic 06, it's like, do we play the original so Everett could see the hubbub, or do I play how, that fan remake that makes it work? How bad could it be? Cause I, oh my god, how bad could it I've be? I've played bad. <laughs> I've, I've dealt with bad before. Okay. <laughs> and I've heard the stories, but... It really can't be that oh, bad. Everett, you are gonna be in for something. I I think we have to play the original as much as I want. I think we have I, to as play much the as original. I really want to just play the fan remake because it's an amazing experience that makes the game work. Mm. I think you need to experience Sonic 06 as it was. We could do Sonic 06 original as a one-off. Maybe we just should. Just so I can see. That way, I can also then show you how like a fan f fixed it. Yeah, I think that's the proper like, because when you when you look at it too, like Sonic 06 actually has like there's a moment with Shadow, that's like probably Shadow's like coolest moment. Is in it the before series. he gets guns? Uh, this is technically after, um, because Shadow the Hedgehog happens before. But oh. like Sonic 06 is ironic, like like weirdly enough, um, Shadow's character and writing in Sonic 06 is actually the last time he was written not being like just evil an edge lord like so it's like shadow was always edgy but he wasn't an edge lord if you know what i mean i get you um it wasn't until shadow the hedgehog that they went from edgy to edge lord but even sonic 06 that came out after kind of just more edgy less edge lord but then everything after that kind of like missed the mark with shadow a little bit there shadow's first introduction he was edgy, but not an edgelord. Uh, Sonic Heroes. Edgy, but not an edgelord. Then Shadow the Hedgehog happened. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, you're gonna see some, like, hard things happen to your boys with these Sonic characters, because you're gonna, you're gonna see, like, Tails go through a story arc, and then you're gonna see them forget that they went through the story arc. I just... It's not, Tails needs to be redeemed to me. This game might actually do it, I, only for... A um, <laughs> only for everything after Sonic 06 to just regress him. <laughs> Even in Boom. Okay, Boom's a different continuity. We don't we don't really worry about Boom. Gotcha. I'm still learning the different continuities. Yeah, Bo Boom Boom is a separate separate thing altogether. Gotcha. So they're not all the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, most of them are. Boom specifically is just different. Gotcha. So yeah, it's not an anagram. You were asking what like the anagram yeah, there was. It's I not. Guess. It's just like the the character icons of what we have being, unlocked. I thought it was being like cheeky. All right. Uh, so you wanna do? Let's do. You wanna Amy's do Amy's story next? Yeah. All right. We'll do the Amy story. I think she only has like three levels. Okay. But uh, I, yeah, hers and Bigs are pretty short because her story starts when, like, the egg carrier first flew. So, right. I think her story starts right after they beat Chaos 4. Right after Tails, Knuckles, and Sonic gotcha. beat Chaos 4 is where I think her story is starting. I forgot about the normal fire, people. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Why is she going grocery shopping? Because she, she lives 12? in the city. Isn't she 12? You know, I guess we kind of forget about that sometimes, but she lives on her own in this city. This is dangerous. Yeah, she left the islands and moved to the city. But she's gonna start, she's reminiscing about when she hung out with Sonic in the 2D era. Look, it's Sonic CD! Wow, so... Except that's not what you were wearing in that game, Amy. No. This is revisionist history! I like the metal Sonic. Yeah. Man, you remember Sonic CD. Very lightly. 
always something fun to do. Stop she misses adventure. I really miss him. Why did her eyelids hey, go like her eyelashes here? went first? Look, you, you gotta understand, this is an old game. They hadn't no fully figured out character models yet. I really don't we should think... just like be impressed that mouths move when characters talk. I really don't think Amy should be out in the street alone at night. <laughs> it's not night, it's the egg carrier. Okay, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think what you just described may make it worse. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're like, oh my god, chaos! Literally, just to give you an idea of how short Amy's uh, story is, um, I did a weird, like, I don't know why I thought of doing this when I played this game as a kid once, but when I reset the game, I just watched this cutscene closed out of the game and looked at the completion and I think Amy's story is like 20% done just by this cutscene. <laughs> so, just to give you an idea of how quickly things go by with the Amy one. It's a flicky that fell out of the egg carrier that has a thing on it. Mm -hmm. ah! You remembered a robot, right? Barely. I don't think Amy... I think Amy needs a guardian. Who signed off on her lease? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Who signed off on Amy's le lease to live in Station Square? Who co-signed? Does she have parents? Oh, no. You know? Not that I've ever seen in the game. Hey, there's an emblem in that shop. Oh. Well. I forgot that there were some just hidden in the adventure field. Interesting. Well, how I want to see... My favorite thing to do in games is look at the menu prices. If there's menus. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see robots. if I can find huh. it. I've never thought about doing that, but let's see. Like, I, uh, in Dying Light, I think you can get, like, a hamburger for, like, 500 USD. <laughs> <laughs> so just to uh, give you a quick idea, a quick spoiler, Amy's story is pretty much her learning that she's actually good enough to go on adventures herself uh, and not have to be a damsel kind of situation. Too late. Uh, she doesn't understand... Uh, what she's capable of yet, but I can do stuff like, oh, yeah! Wow. Hammer! <laughs> I guess she is safe. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so Amy's just, like, uh, learning that, and you know, it's like, you know, she's she's strong enough on her own to go on adventures. Okay, good for Boom. her. Girl power. Woohoo! Sure, Eggman That's easier this. to activate than I remember. Thanks, Light. What the, what's the light? What is the light? Do, do, when does it say? What is the light? Is it in this game? Or Perhaps is it... it is in this game. Okay. And perhaps we'll find out next episode. Hope you guys join us there. Love you. Mean it. Click. Bye, guys. Amy Adventure. I swear to God, if I have to wait three more games to figure out what that <laughs> light is. <laughs> I swear to God, if I don't find out what that light is until Sonic Unleashed, I am going to be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> but then at least it means Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the other ones you're really looking forward oh, yeah. to. That's the one I remember.